what's up it's who i'm from who's makeup so today i'm going to be showing you guys this peach monochromatic makeup look my style so a monochromatic look is just basically a makeup look just based on one like single color tint your eyes lips and cheeks all in the same tone and this kind of monochromatic makeup look is actually really trending in korea matching tones and staying really true to your own tone is really important in korean makeup and i myself as well always kind of go for the monochromatic tones you know i really love matchy matchy tones in my makeup so if you guys want to know how I created this monochromatic peach makeup look using all Fenty Beauty products, then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so I've already prepped my Fenty face using Fenty Beauty's Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in the color number 120 to give me a nice flawless coverage. And I also used Fenty Beauty's Instant Retouch Concealer in the shade number 120 as well for my dark circles and highlighting the points of my face. And lastly, I used Fenty Beauty's Blotting Powder to blot any oil on my face and I usually just blot around my eyebrows because my makeup tends to wear off because of the oil on my t-zone okay now I'm gonna head on to my eye makeup for the eye makeup I am going to be using this Fenty Beauty snap shadows mix and match eyeshadow palette in number five peach the colors in this palette are literally so gorgeous I can't even <laughs> So first I'm taking this matte peach color called Peach Me. Oh my god, that's such a cute name. Peach Me, yeah. So I'm applying this peach shade all over my eyelids and also under my eyes as well. Get a glimpse of that nice vibrant color. And after that's done, I'm going to take this shimmery pink color called Bellini Baby. I'm just gonna use the help of my fingers to slide that product on the center of my eyelids. You guys should definitely see this pigmentation. Oh my god, it's so buttery and creamy and smooth. Oh my goodness. So with the clean brush, I'm just gonna blend that golden peach color along the sides to make it look a little bit more natural. We're also gonna apply the shade on the bottom lash line as well. It's actually not the lash line. It's actually the ego side. That's how we call it in Korea. There are these little eye bags that are under your eyes. And mostly Asians have this, but if you don't have any eye bags, you could just put this color slightly on your lower lash line and it'll still look beautiful. Next, I'm taking a little bit of this orangey peach color called churro it is kind of like a churro color it's so pretty isn't it? with a pencil brush i'm applying churro on the outer part of the lid just make it gradually blend in with the golden peach that we had on the center of the lid so it's just like an overall sunsetty peachy golden eye so beautiful Next, I'm taking this sort of terracotta peach color called Shoot Your Shot. I'm gonna use this on the outer part of my lower lash line to kind of create that fun lower lash point while giving that gloomy eye effect. Like you've been crying. I'm crying, girl. So I'm only adding that on the outer part of the lower lash line. Not really going too much in. I'm seriously in love with these snap shadows. The pigmentation is amazing. Everything blends so soft and smooth. Ugh. Next, I'm gonna be using this longwear pencil liner, the color Puppy Eye. It is a brown eyeliner. I'm just gonna use this to lightly line around my lash line. Like very subtle. And then quickly I'm gonna go back to the eyeshadow palette and take the reddish bronzy kind of color called Hi Pumpkin. Hi Pumpkin! So I'm just gonna use that shade to blend my eyeliner. I'm gonna repeat the same process on the other eye as well. Next, I'm applying a little bit of this Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. And the color is because I'm black. Because it is black. Yeah, so I'm just gonna use this to create a slight wing. I'm not gonna flick this way too up because today I'm going for more of a natural look. Kind of like very kawaii Korean girl style. I really love this eyeliner. Super pigmented, it's black and it lasts all day. So next I'll be applying mascara. This is the Fenty Beauty Volume and Lip Curl Mascara. And it is also in the shade because I'm black. Because it's black. Yeah. So I'm just curling my lashes and applying the mascara. It really gives your lashes a long, voluminous look. You don't even need falsies. So this is the finished eye look. So now we're gonna move on to some blush and highlight. And for today's peachy monochromatic makeup look, I have chosen the Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush in number one Fuego Flush. Fuego Flush is like a really gorgeous orange color that really goes well with the eye look that I have done today. It has a slight bit of shimmer inside it, so I'm gonna be applying Fuego Flush. Just using my fingers, like right under the pupil of my eye. This instantly gives me that healthy golden hour vibe 
up and it is literally so gorgeous. The blush applies so sheer and seamless. It really goes well with the eyes, just giving you that flush of color. The shape looks kind of bright, but when you apply it, it's just enough. It really makes your skin look fresh and hydrated since it is a cream blush. It kind of gives you that more youthful look. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this across my nose as well for that kind of like sun-kissed, flushed look. Next, I'm gonna use the Kilowatt highlighter. So when you reflect it in the light, you can kind of see a little bit of purple glitter in there. It's kind of like a duochrome packaging and it is so gorgeous. So we first have Lightning Dust. Lightning Dust is slightly natural. And then we have Fire Crystal. And Fire Crystal has a little bit more big chunks of glitter inside it. That's gonna make your skin look so gleaming and glowing. First gonna use Lightning Dust. Oh my god. The points of my face, like around my nose. Oh my god. I gotta just go and dip my finger into this. This is so gorgeous. <gasps> oh my goodness, guys. A little bit on the forehead, my cupid's bow, my chin, and my cheeks. And then I'm gonna take Fire Crystal. And I'm just gonna use Fire Crystal with my fingers. And just use that to swipe this. Oh my god. See that instant glow. This is just so precious. Finally, we have the lips. This is the Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow. I'm actually gonna conceal the natural color of my lips using the Fenty Beauty Concealer again to really show its true color. We're almost done with the makeup, just one simple step left. I'm gonna take this cream blush, the one we used on our cheeks when we go flush. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this onto my lips and just mix that around with the gloss balm. I wanted a little bit more peachiness on my lips, so that's why I decided to just go ahead and mix the color of the cream blush and the gloss balm. So I guess you could call this as a little tip. Since it is a monochromatic makeup look, you might have a hard time matching color combinations. If you have trouble matching the colors of your eyes, cheeks, and lips, just incorporate the shades on various parts of the Face. You can use your lipstick as blush, you can use your blush as your lipstick, or you could just use the eyeshadow color on your cheeks. Monochromatic. Peasy peasy. So that is it. This is the final look. My style of monochromatic peach makeup. Thanks everyone for watching, and I want to hear what Fenty Beauty tutorials you want to see from me next. So this was Food from Who's Makeup, and if you have time, you can check out my channel, you know. Bye Fenty!